Hello there, it's Andrew Lynch, and what I've got here is a segment from the George Nudson drill that I did where my arms are just hanging really relaxed, and basically I'm just rotating my body, you know, starting in the in the feet, so you know what I mean, it's like I'm kind of like, uh, just as George said, my pivot points are down here, and I'm just... Uh, so I'm just rotating from there. I think Mr. Cowan calls it the pyramid of power. But you know, uh, I like George's uh, method better, just pivot points. So I'm just going to play this a couple of times, uh, if you've not already seen it. So, and I wasn't trying to manipulate the club head. I wasn't trying to do anything fancy. I was just arms incredibly relaxed and the one of the things that I really got from this was, at first I felt like I was out of control. Then I realized just how much I was using my arms and not my body. And I, so I really liked doing this. So it, I got a lot from it. Now, one of the things you're going to notice is there, stop it there. You'll notice that the club seems to get sucked inside. Now, it's just something that I noticed when I was looking at the editing because, again, I wasn't trying to do anything other than rotate. So, now, George, they always said, oh, George Knudsen took the club inside a lot. But it wasn't that, I think, now having done this drill myself, I don't think George was trying to take the club inside. I think it just went inside because he rotated. And if you think about the fact is that our swing is on an arc, it's very hard for us to go in an arc and then our arms kind of go straight back. So this, what you're seeing there, that club in that position is a result of me just rotating. So if I take that up to there, that's about, it's just like a three-quarter little shot here. Now, but what you'll see is... That's about my shoulder turn, and it's about 90 degrees shoulder turn, and I've only got about 15 degrees of hip turn, which is a big old X factor, you know what I mean, uh, by anybody's standard. And that's why this ball, even though it's only a three-quarter shot, it went like 110 yards, dead straight, uh, because I've got a nice little X factor built in there. Again, this was something I wasn't trying to do. I wasn't trying to hold my hips back. I wasn't trying to rotate my shoulders more. I was just rotating, and I find found that this was a kind of like a, a bonus from doing this exercise, uh, this drill. So, also, uh, so basically, you know, so let's just take that back, and you'll notice again. There's a lot of good things happen here that I'm not trying to do. Uh, so, you know, so you know, if I take that back, you'll notice hardly any movement off that line. So there's no sway, but there is movement off the ball. So that's good. Get rid of that one again. And so the head... As George Knudsen said, plays no part in the swing, and so it moves a lot. I'm certainly not bothered about where that head stays. You know what I mean? It, it, the head moves because, guess what, I'm rotating. So that head moves. And one of the things, you know, for those people that, uh, you know, just take that back. So, sorry, I just... Read, oh, yeah, I'll leave that line in, actually. So... And I'll just put one on the front hip. Because sometimes I move a little bit too much forward. So, just taking that into impact. So there you go. Inside. A little bit flat, but again, it's just what it is. Because I'm not trying to manipulate it. And now I'm rotating. Coming down. A little bit past that line. Head staying back, though. Now the hips are rotating open and there's impact now what's nice about that is my head's back 
I've not moved as much for me over the hip line and I've got that lovely kind of like straight line because I've not I'm not trying to throw the club the club has come back to square purely by me rotating my body and it's very kind of like let's see if I can just magnify that uh, there you can see that club face is square perfectly square ball comes off really well you know what I mean and it as I say it went dead straight so if I just follow that through let's see arms extending through not trying to do anything again just rotating the body and, and what I like here is that my uh, elbows they're just both pointing straight down the range which is a great position again I wasn't trying to do that uh, it is just and this is what I think George's swing was so good because it wasn't about trying to manipulate it was just working with your body and how your body naturally moves so again a lot of good things have happened in that swing and if you notice I finish in perfect balance and as I said before the shot went away perfectly straight so just play that through again so this is really just me having a look at this segment of the film and showing you that by concentrating on body rotation as George said I got everything else to happen I didn't try to make it happen uh, so I'm going to be working more on this because uh, it's quite exciting stuff I'd like to see my head rotating a little bit quicker to target uh, because I'm a little bit of a one I don't like to try and keep my head still or looking at the ball because amazingly blind people can play this game and they never look at the ball so, or see the ball should I say so if, if it's that unimportant my head can rotate to target which I think will help even more with the body rotation so I just thought I'd let you see this and enjoy it and uh, from Andrew Lynch Golf take care and I'm just trying to keep it simple as I say bye